Praise God and welcome to End Time Watchman. I'm Jay Sperry and today I'm just doing a reflection on the last uh, year or so. Uh, just different things are going on in our world, signs of the times and stuff. But anyway, the times are screaming, Jesus' return is nigh, without a doubt. And how do I know this? I just look at the world I'm living in and the carnal zoo and all the demonic looking occult doctrines and the spirit of Antichrist. Man's mind so far from Jesus and truth. And everything imaginable is being committed openly under the sun. Which brings me to my first point here. The world is gone gay. Big time. Yes, it is. It's a sad day. Praise God. And Obama and the new Pope promote it. Praise God. So that's blatant hypocrisy. Praise God. These are supposed to be representatives of, representatives of Christianity. Uh, Obama's claim to be a Christian. Well, we're starting to see the fruit, aren't we? We see the fruit. Which brings me to, I'm going to read uh, from Matthew 7, verse 15 to 20. And the Bible says, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth not good or bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is uh, hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in to the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name uh, have cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. Praise God. So, just a reminder of not so long ago, Newsweek picture of Obama, uh, the first gay president. You know, that's just... The way they painted this character since he's come on the scene is just, uh, you know, it's just, just, it's just amazing. I've never seen any other politician paint it like he is. Praise God. And we know what this is going to do because if we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Praise God. Judgment is coming. Praise God. But the whole world is wondering after the beast. Praise God. They're buying thing. They're buying, you know, it hook, line, and sinker. And multitudes, multitudes will be going into that lake of fire, unfortunately. Amen. Lest they repent. Praise God. But isn't it ironic that last year, Time Magazine hailed Obama as the person of the year? And guess who got it this year? And a lot of people claiming Obama as the Antichrist or an Antichrist. Amen. <clears throat> He's a destroyer for sure, praise God. He's being used by some high ups in the elite field forces. But, yep, the Pope. He's been elected as a man of the year this year. The false prophet. Just, isn't it ironic? You know, praise God. Praise God. Um, I just want to go through a couple little pictures here of Obama. It's just astounding what they've portrayed this guy as ever since he came on the scene. It's, you know, we're, we should take note. Praise God. I mean, we should be on high alert. We just know that there's so many Bible scriptures that are coming to pass and being fulfilled in our day and hour like never before. You know, it's just it's amazing. <clears throat> you know, here's a picture. So basically, just screaming. Jesus is coming back, whether today or tomorrow or the next 10, 20 years. It can't be much longer than that, for sure. Praise God. So we got to be ready. Praise God. And 
after his uh, second inauguration. This is very, see everything's just blatantly mocking Christ. Why? If he's such a good guy and a Christian, like why would this happen? What is this saying? What is that spirit saying to us? Satan knows his time is short. Praise God, Revelation 12, 12. But even a lot of people have seen all these different signs are like, yeah, you're silly, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. Praise God. Well, you know, I'm not the one who's taking these pictures. I'm not the one who's pr promoting this, you know. Praise God. And this is the, probably the most astounding and uh, alarming picture I've ever seen of him. God of all things. What mockery, what, what uh, blasphemy. Praise God. But this is... This is what I'm seeing, folks. Praise God. This is what we're seeing in our day and age. And everything's you know, against God. And what God wants is total rebellion. Satan's biggest trait. You know, his biggest that's what took him down. Rebellion. Praise God. Pride. Uh, so that brings me to the next one. Number two, Christianity. Christ and Christianity is under attack. There's persecution going on all over the world. Praise God. And it's getting worse. It's going to be in Canada and the United States and all over the world, worldwide. Praise God. I want to read, uh, go to Matthew chapter 24 and verses 9 to 14. The Bible says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity or sin shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's a lot of mass backsliding going on, mass apostasy. Uh, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We have that Noah kind of spirit, that enduring spirit. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, which it, it nearly is, for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Praise God. Then the Antichrist is going to make his stand. Praise God. Which we are seeing. We know he's around. Praise God. So that brings me to the next one. is uh, Number three, the Antichrist is among us. Praise God. Uh, if Obama is not, and he's uh, one getting ready the appearance of this real... Antichrist, then I stand corrected, as I cannot help but judge uh, what I see of this political leader. I mean, I just don't know why they're painting him like this. If he's not, like, whoa, well, why in the world? Unless it's a big Hollywood script. But, you know, we're seeing the fruit of it, too, and, and, and he's sending drones into nations, and there's wars, and, you know, why he ever got a Nobel Peace Prize, we'll never know. Praise God. But we're seeing the fruit in war and corruption, and uh, the USA's in trillions of dollars of debt praise God it's just it's just a very 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 evil day there's so much going on amen but I know they these end-time politicians and false prophets will be Satan's minions and 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 and 15 reveals to us that no marvel for Satan and his ministers can appear and transform into an angel of light which brings Genesis 3 verse 1 screaming <laughs> to the forefront forefront now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. And I got the dictionary definition for subtle. And there's four different meanings. It says, so delicate or precise as to be difficult to analyze or describe. Number two, good at noticing and understanding things. Number three, done in a clever but understanding way, such as subtle lighting. And number four, using clever and indirect methods to achieve something. Praise God. Note, God's laws are being bulldozed out, and Satan's abominations are be being bulldozed in. Question, how are all these laws being passed without we the people to vote on them? Praise God. What's going on? Uh, just how big and evil has government become, and who is really in power? Excuse me. Better research the New World Order agenda. Or you will be a slave to Satan himself. Amen. Uh, I entitled this "Warning: Wake Up Call." Okay, wake up. This has been a mind conditioning, lying, satanic onslaught, and has been going or been coming through the media, TV, the school system, 
false prophets, lying politicians, etc. There was a time when no one in their right mind would allow a satanic Bible. This is, this is how bad our world is today. In our country, schools, etc. Or, what it, or whoever was the perpetrator of such evil would be lynched. But today, and I just want to just talk about being subtle here. Uh, like the Beatles. Okay, when rock and roll was born, I, I find two things big about this end time is the birth of rock and roll and the birth of Hollywood. Which is seducing many, 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 many souls. But the birth of uh, the Beatles, they look so innocent. See, this is subtlety. The birth of rock and roll. Oh, yeah, they're singing about love, love me do. But look how it changes over the years. You know, fast forwarding a little bit, a lot, lot here, but then you got Kiss. The transformation. How men are, are transforming. And then Marilyn Manson. Even more worse. And he's even rips up Bibles on stage and Look at this entitlement for his, his album, Antichrist Superstar. It was just evil. Pure evil. This is seduction, people. This is seduction. Not so Lady Gaga. You know. Amen. So, but, uh, as mentioned, but today we have Marilyn Manson, Not So Lady Gaga, Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings, Spider-Man, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, and just an endless host of satanic wiles which are turning souls away from Jesus. And he's the only one that can save a soul from hellfire. Praise God. Thank God for the blood as we sing at church. Multitudes are in hell. Amen. And... Um, Where am I? Okay. <laughs> and multitudes upon multitudes will follow suit because of the subtlety of Satan. He knows his time is short. Revelation 12, verse 12. Uh, you ever notice that the rock bands sing and make light of 666 and the number of the beast, such as Iron Maiden? I used to listen to those when I was in the world. Highway to Hell, Hell's Bells, Hell ain't a bad place to be, ACDC. Yeah, I wonder if Bon Scott's still uh, singing Hell ain't a bad place to be after he died unexpectedly years ago amen being drunk anyway uh, and just look at a at the record covers and pure demonic looking uh, you know world we're living in praise God one of Satan's big act aces up his sleeve for the end times and he has won many more than Christ has but Jesus looks for quality not quantity he looks for warriors not wimps uh, what does Jesus warn the disciples about first thing in his discourse on the end, end of days in Matthew 24 verse 4? He first tells them, take heed that no man deceives you. We are living in that day. A world is, our world is plagued by lying and cheating and sexual promiscuousness and witchcraft. And oh yes, not many may know this, but uh, Satan is an awesome artist because he paints sin and himself so pretty, so beautiful, so desirable. Yeah. Amen. That hot looking co worker at the office who makes married men fantasize and step out on his wife. Happens so many times today. The young man is being conditioned, or our young men are being conditioned to be a player, uh, have multiple partners, and bring into the world many unwanted children into the world. Amen. And have babies executed in the place where it should be the safest place in the womb. It's mommy's or it's mommy's womb. Amen. Abortion. It's a sad day. It's a wicked day. Praise God. What's going on? We're supposed to be more educated. We're supposed to be more smarter. We're supposed to be more loving. Millions of babies aborted a year. So get ready, sinner friend, for judgment. And I'll end it here. Judgment is coming. Don't be upset about it. You've earned it. Unfortunately, unless you repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and walk with God. Amen. You must. Take heed to the gospel call. Hallelujah. This is your opportunity to change. Praise God.
to accept Jesus, amen, to start going to church, amen, start listening to the preaching of the word, amen, obey Acts 2.38, and walk with God, listen to the call, come to the cross, amen, amen, the way is the way of the cross, that's why Jesus suffered such a horrific death, you think he did that for fun, no, he did that because that was the only price that was acceptable in the Father's eyes. Praise God for the sin that began in, in the Garden of Eden. Praise God, where man fell. That was the only way. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Praise God. So take heed. Come to the cross. Amen. I'm Jay Sperry. God bless you in Jesus' name. There will be more down the road. Thank you for listening. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.